this video, I will explain you arrays in Scala. First, let us understand what is an array. Array is a data structure which can store fixed size sequential elements of same data type. Let us understand some important points. That is the first one is fixed size. What I meant with fixed size is once an array is declared with a particular size, the size of an array cannot be changed. The second important point is sequential elements. What I meant with sequential elements is arrays store contiguous block of memory. That means in a memory, array stores elements one after the other. That is what is sequential elements. Same data type. What I meant with same data type is arrays can hold data of same type. Arrays, let's say I have declared an array of size 10. As we know that array is accessed through an index. It starts from 0 and it ends with array length minus 1. That means 9. If I want to access the first element of an array, I access with 0th index. Similarly, if I want to access the last element of an array, I access with 9. That is, I have declared the array length as 10. So, if I want to access the last element, since the index starts from 0, the last index would be 9. Let's get into hands-on. Let me create an array. In Scala, array can be created using several ways. Let me show you. Let me declare a variable. You can declare a variable using either val or var. Let me declare a variable. I'll name the variable as programming languages. Let me declare the type of the variable. I've declared the type of the variable as array. And then I will specify the array should hold of what data type. I'm specifying string in my example. That means I'm creating an array which can hold string data type is equal to new array and the data type it has to hold and I am specifying the size of an array. In this example, I am specifying the size of the array as 3. You can create an array using this approach or you can also create an array using another approach. I am just specifying in the comments type 2 while web programming I am declaring a variable web programming language is equal to new array, the type of an array and the size of an array. If you see the difference between type 1 and type 2, I am not specifying to the variable it is of type what and it should store of type what. That is because in, in type 2 I am not specifying if you see here. So that is because of the concept of type inference. Whatever I declare here, it will infer the type based on the value I have assigned to it. Now, let me assign values. As I told you that array is accessed through an index and index starts from 0 till the length minus 1. Now, let me assign the value. Programming languages of 0th value, I am assigning it as Java. Similarly, programming languages of 1, I am assigning it to Scala. Programming languages of 2, I am assigning it to C sharp. This is how you assign the values to an array. If I want to access the array, as I told you, you can access through an index. So if I want to access the first element of an array, as I told you, it is accessed through an index 0. Let me access the first element of an array, programming languages of 0. Let me execute this program. So 
see I was able to access the first element. Now let me iterate all the elements. Let me iterate all the elements of an array. For this I will be using a for loop. The syntax is for. I will create one variable programming. Left arrow mark iPhone and the name of an array. So what happens here is each and every value of an array will be assigned to this variable programming and then I am printing that variable and then I am printing that variable. Let me execute. Can you see this? The first element that is programming languages of zero, it is printing Java. And then I am using a for loop to iterate all the elements of an array. So it is printing Java, Scala and C sharp. Let me add a separate area so that you don't get confused. Now let me execute again Scala. Now if you see the output here, programming languages of zero that is Java and then I'm using a for loop I'm using a for loop to iterate an array so I'm able to iterate an array and if you see in this examples actually in scale semicolons are not mandatory so I need not specify this semicolon 